what can make me go from this and switch it up and actually come out with this? Well, we're going to talk about not who can make that happen, but you can make that happen. Do you get it? It's a pun. <laughs> Video. Fancy intro music. Yeah. Woohoo. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Lame intros aside, which I honestly love doing. I'm going to talk today about the officer hue that can be sourced already and we'll talk about his sourcing here in a second but this is one of the most important officers in the game now this is coming a couple of months after he actually released but i'm one of those people that i only like to discuss officers that have actually unlocked so i can show you to them firsthand unless someone sends me video which i could have gotten but i also try to go along the pace of a lot of other players and Many of you are progressing through the solo Borg armadas and maybe you've unlocked him and maybe you don't understand how he works or maybe even the value of you. And that's what we're going to cover in today's video. We're going to go over why he's actually one of the best officers in the game. And you probably need him if you don't already have him. So let's talk about why he's important. So what we're going to do first is look at the captain's ability, which there is not one unfit to lead, but you got an officer ability, which is impulse speed, ignore that and then resist and retaliate this is where hugh is easily one of the most valuable officers in the game has a 45 percent chance to increase critical hit chance by 25 percent for dose rounds and this ability stacks weapons with multiple shots are only triggered once now why is that important let's look at the scaling of that thanks to our good friends over at fcfc.space so as you can see over there, it scales all the way up to a 100% chance if you got him maxed, but you honestly don't even need to max him. As you can see in the log that I kind of hinted at before, and let's uh, back out and go and look at it, he can make a drastic impact to your game with really not changing much. Now this crew right here, let me go ahead and tell you, it is Picard, Beverly Chin. I took a 48 Freebooter Hostile with a Tier 8 Augur. This is a low auger for fighting this hostile. It's definitely not something you would normally recommend. And if we go to our little info screen, here's what I have below decks. Nothing. I mean, I had officers, right? And then I stacked for Beverly, but I didn't have anything that had a below deck spot. And you actually see I'm missing one right there. That's where, spoiler, Q's going to be. And uh, if you're excited, well, the only thing I did for this one is literally add Q. That's it. And I went from blowing up and not winning at all to taking, what, 10% damage. So how did that actually transpire? What actually happened that made this such a drastic win? Well, I am so glad that you asked because we love showing off logs. So this is actually the fight with Spox Club. Now, if you've not used that program, uh, hit me up in the Discord and we can kind of walk you through how it works. I'm glad that Spox Club is up. It does need an update, but it is up so we can look at basic logs. So if you come over to this side, you'll see how long the fights actually last. You see 41 rounds for the win. The win is on the left side. And for the loss, you go over there, 94. So much, much longer, or 93. Much, 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 much longer fight when I didn't have Hugh. Now, what did Hugh do? Hugh gave me criticals. And as you can see on the left side of the screen, I hit 100% critical rate and I had it throughout the entirety of the fight. So I was able to consistently put out big damage and put out a pretty good performance, whereas my normal crit rate was semi-decent, but I would go, as you can see towards the end of the fight, I had like a 10 round spot where no criticals happened at all. And criticals are one of the most valuable things in any game, no matter what game you're playing, whether it's Star Trek, Fleet Commander, you know, World of Warcraft, any build that you're going to go for in a game, Criticals are often game changers in a great way. And it's one of the reasons I love critical builds. This is a great visual of why Rev is always obsessed with critical builds in games. The amount of damage I'm putting out is significant to the point that a three-star epic takes out a level 48 ship and goes half the amount of rounds all because of one officer change. Now, for those going, oh my gosh, Rev, this is so incredible. How do I go about acquiring you? Now, he does have immediate sourcing in the game. It's one of the things that we talked about when he came out. We love that. He is found in the Epic Solo Exchange chest. Now, for anybody comments, yes, this is a 40-plus uh, acquisition. 
But this is also where you really start needing that to happen because we talk about the freebooter hostiles and all that becoming available now for 38 plus where you really want to start punching up and you need to kind of expand beyond Picard, Beverly Chin or Pike Moreau Chin is really getting into the 40s and 50s. And I do like that, um, you know, uniformity is nice and, and ease of running hostiles is nice. But the fact that Picard, Car Beverly Chin slash Pipe Moreau Chin has been the meta, and that's all you ever ran against hostiles for so long. It gets a little old and boring, right? Like you, you want to expand, you want to have a reason to have more officers and try things. And even though Hugh only works versus hostiles, he does not work versus solo armadas, group armadas, assaults, PvP, none of that. He only works versus hostiles. He still has now changed things in terms of how we'll go about running it. Let me give you another visual example, and this is going to be. Um, it's not a like mind blowing change as in like, this is not one that like made a crazy difference, but it makes a difference. So let's, uh, let's cover it. Scroll over. So this is me using another version of the freebooter cruise that you've seen us using where I have my Kirk, not Kirk, Khan, Gorkhan, and then captain is the strange new world specific crew member. And then on the right side, I'm running strange new worlds. Decius and then Gorkon. You'll see that I actually earned another two kills essentially for the hull by doing nothing but changing Decius for Khan and putting Hugh below Dex. Now, why did I get rid of Khan? Because if I have Decius, I'm sorry, if I have Hugh, I don't need Khan. Hugh is getting me to max criticals in like two rounds. So then, you know, Khan kind of becomes a little bit pointless. Now, I did not include this in my freebooters video because, well, not everybody has Hugh, and not everybody's really start working on him and earning him, especially the free-to-play. Some people might have paid to get him, and that's completely okay. Maybe they're experiencing the value, or maybe they've got this hidden gem that they don't even realize how valuable he actually is. But the truth is that Hugh, even at Tier 1, Level 1, is one of the most valuable officers in the game. It can take your hostile grinding to another level. I mean, even regular grinding, you're able to complete quicker because you're getting those critical hits in. So even if you're taking your ship out to faction space and you're rep grinding, you're able to get more kills per hull, which means you are getting more rep. You're getting those rewards done quicker. So this is all a great testament to a direction I think that Scopely has improved on when it comes to the style of some of these officers. They are making the game better and quicker in terms of grinding and lessening some of that. Now, think of this also when it comes to leaderboard events and you know sms events that are all based on creating damage so you have uh we don't have one going on right now but let me just bring up one in the background as an example let's go over to our uh, ticket events that are ongoing at the time i'm making this video and you've got this swarm doomsday sms well it's built around destroying hostiles but we also have an sms that will come around that is built on damage dealt well what's a good way to get more damage dealt hitting criticals so not only will you deal more damage in that fight. Now, granted, you're doing the same amount of damage if you kill a hostile, because those that don't remember, and you can use this screenshot to see, a hostile only has so much whole health, so you're going to deal damage. But if you're able to get more in one life, especially for those token systems, because a lot of people will go to like the Borg systems to do this, well, that's going to improve the amount of damage dealing you've done because you're getting more kills per hull. You combine that with some that require, you know, critical damage. You know, maybe we're tracking critical damage. Well, obviously, Hugh's now become the meta with that. And you take Hugh, maybe mix him with Odo from DS9. And you're getting even more usability from grinding hostiles. That's just the event applications. Doesn't change that daily application is incredible. As I point out to this, this is me taking a three-star ship. Because I know there's a lot of players out there who are in the 40s who maybe haven't invested in a Valdor yet, or a Katinga, or a Kelvin, you know, and they're sitting there with a tier seven, tier eight, three star, and maybe struggling to get some of these bigger hostiles. This has made it a little bit easier. One singular officer making this level of impact was pretty damn impressive, and it's worth noting. And you'll find that these criticals are going to help make your game better and easier. And a real quick here aside, it's kind of on the side, but it's kind of not, just to remind y'all how do criticals work in the game. We'll go back to a battle log and show you. So if we click right here, we'll go back to this big W that we had with Picard, Beverly, Chin with Hugh under Dex. So damage is calculated after you take your officer bonuses, all your research, etc. 
and you multiply that by your base and then all the researches to the minimum and maximum weapon damage that each weapon can provide. And then after that calculation is done, after we figure out what damage is, then you're gonna come down to this right here, critical damage. So I have a 281.7% boost right here, which means I would then multiply my damage by 2.817. So just to clarify real quick, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. We're gonna go into say my pylum, click a weapon, click the info button and look, min max damage. We're multiplying all those researches and all those officer bonuses to this. And then after we've done all that math, then we're gonna multiply critical. That's why Hugh's so strong. That's why Hugh can take this long fight that I had and cut it down from 93 rounds to 41 rounds. And I lose very little whole health because I kept my shields up and I win. Hopefully this gets you excited because I think officers like this are so valuable to the game and understanding that and acquiring them is worth it. In fact, I, uh, I went through the effort of running through Borg Spheres today to make sure that happened. Live long and prosper. Stay safe for those space cowboys. Do success me. Let me know what you would like to see in another video. All you got to do is hit me up on Discord or ask in the comment section down below. Y'all are amazing. Catch you on the next one. Out. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.